Well, we're going into the Christmas department here. Okay. All right. Um, this is your feel-good place where people can come and reminisce and, and come back here. We sometimes, uh, let's walk in here while these ladies yeah. are coming out. Okay. All right. Um, you can just kind of come back into these, into these areas and just tune out. You know, uh, you walk, you came in, you might have came in through the, oh uh, wait. So you can come in here and just kind of tune out, relax, listen to the music, and uh, look at the pretty lights and the ornaments. Uh, and it just takes you back to childhood time, perhaps. Or some of those nice times at, around at Grandma's. We always celebrated Christmas Eve at Grandma and Grandpa's. We drove, we'd drive miles to get to way back when. Mm -hmm. So when you come in here, you think of that? I can, yeah, very yeah. easily, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we have over this way here, we have a, um, and this is, uh, we have, we have a, a red button here, which uh, happens to turn on the, the train. And the train is very popular with kids and families and, and you know, the, the adults would bring it. Come on, let's go see the train at Mangelson's. Yeah. So well, it goes around. It goes all the way around. <laughs> yeah, all the way around. And so that's huge. And you know, at, you know, we also serve apple, apple cider, spiced apple cider at Christmas time too, to get people to have. Nice yeah, it is. And we sell it too for them to take home as well. So this is a feel good department, and that's why a lot of our departments are feel good. Yeah, I feel better already. Yeah. <laughs> I do. <know. laughs> I'm serious. People come in here just to feel good, yeah. and, and I, I, I welcome that. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, show me, show me your one of your other. Okay. Some of the other. All right. Mhm. Mm well, you're gonna get the tour of the store then. Good. All right. You like everything. All right. Okay. Uh, this is our art department here, of which we, a lot of people are doing more art at home. Um, they're they're just, and they're getting better at it. They had time. So, and we do have a very good art department. Now we have our custom framing department here, which I, I believe in my own mind uh, and everybody else is that this is one of the best framing departments in town. Mm. We do stuff that no one else would do, no one else would touch. So we, uh, we framed a um, skin of an alligator that was about 12 feet long, put Did it in a shadow box, yeah. Because no one else had, no one else knew how to do it. Number one, my kids are very talented at making shadow boxes and stuff. So, the custom framing that comes out of here is awesome. Wow, that's good so, to know. Yeah, it is. So, and we do do in our custom framing. We do do uh, stores or companies in town, Children's Hospital, Kiwit, some of that stuff. They mm -hmm. they bring their goods here, and we frame it up for some of them too. So we do do some commercial. Uh, framing for people too, so. Okay. All right, we'll cut through here. Okay. How much do you walk a day? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> I, I, I need to get one of those things on us. You do? Uh, yeah. Because you can um, run in. There's a paint line called Annie Sloan. It's, uh, it's for, for uh, painting these antiques like this here. It's called chalk paint. Okay. It's one of the highest quality lines around and you can't find it really any place else here in Oma one there's a place out west and, and maybe in Nebraska City but this has been awesome people are doing stuff they're redoing their cupboards at home they're making their place feel good yeah so then we go down this way here, <coughs> here. Mm -hmm. now this this would be our general crafts area here where it just goes back to the pom-poms the beads and the stuff like that yeah. we have our candle department on this side over here candles is it's romantic mm -hmm. and calming Romantic and, and calming. And um, so candles are very, you know, it fits all departments. It fits all events at home with the off or office as well. So, uh, so can candles, like candles is huge. In their rooms. Yeah. They do. So, yeah. So. And they're boys. And they're boys. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah. That's good. I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah. So, um, again, a little bit more general crafts. Uh, on both sides over here too. Um, just general stuff that appeals to a lot of people. 
glue sections over here. We, on, on the left up here, and on the right over here, we have our scrapbooking department. Um, unfortunately, and this is where, uh, when this was really hot and really going well years ago, you know, there'd be a lot of people say they want to open up a store. And they want to open a scrapbooking store. Mm -hmm. And then they go, there you know, could have been three, four, five stores in town at one time. And as time went on, though, they didn't have anything to diversify back against, and they went out of business, unfortunately. Yeah. But again, we can do it because we have diversification, and that's one of the keys why we're still here after 60 years. Um, yeah, and this is our, our quilting department over here. The quilting department, when the pandemic started, uh, still kept going. People, we would sell uh, fabric here off the, at the curb, and we would sell them to make masks. The store could have been closed. The store could have been closed and was closed, uh, but we would, my daughter Marla would be selling stuff off the curb. They'd, they'd, they'd order the fabric and we'd take it out and they'd yeah. make masks. We have the elastic, we have the, all that stuff to make it. Wow. So, and people would be home, they'd be buying fabric also. Uh, they'd be home making quilts. Mm -hmm. Didn't have anything else to do as they, as they wanted to. And this we, yeah. yeah. And this is, this is here is our long arm machine, we call it. It's used for quilting. Lisa, is that thing running yet? Can we show that on TV oh, here? Okay. She's one of our. Um, she is. It's huh? Day. She <laughs> is. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. no pressure. And a new employee here is just learning. So we do we do the quilting on this long arm machine. Oh wow! And uh, that's the board over there. If you can see it, there's you know probably 50, 60 names there waiting to get theirs done. And so people bring in the stuff. And they, they bring in their quilt oh, wow. and they do all that stuff to it. Yeah. So. Okay, now I know where to go. Yes, do you quilt? No, but you know, you see all those projects like when your kids graduate and mm -hmm. you get all their mm -hmm. yeah. ac activity, their shirts, yeah. these things. So this is, this is a, my dad's favorite department was, was the fabric business, so the fabric stuff. So we have all kinds of oh, yeah. That's perfect. fabric down here. Is this how you start? Is this what starts? You guys, did you guys start in fabric? Is that what you started? No, well, back when uh, on that side of the store, we started as a Ben Franklin store. Okay. And the old time Ben Franklin store had, it had, it, I'll just start out with pet supplies because that was, and when I was 13, that was my first department. I took care of the, I took care of the goldfish, the parakeets and all that. But uh, so we had pet supplies, you had paint, you had housewares, you had uh, baby clothes, you had ladies clothes, you had cosmetics, you know, that you had. So. Uh, that was way back when in the 60s. Wow. So that's how, it's, that's how it evolved. That's how you start. We gravitated towards uh, departments mm -hmm. that we can do well and do well in. And that's what remains. That's what remains. With tweaking it constantly, yeah. So. Our cake decorating department. Oh, wow. Um, we'll walk this way here. Are these for the serious decorators or just the... No, it's for you. Okay. It, it's for you or it's, we have a lot of what I call in, um, in-home uh, industry where they bake and they sell what they bake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, a lot of moms, uh, you know, they found themselves, uh, they, they did well and then somebody says, will you bake me a cake? And pretty soon that cake turns into um, other customers wanting cakes and stuff yeah. like that. So. We're very much into seasonal, and we have Christmas stuff over here. Uh, we, we're a very seasonal store. We move on from one season to another season. So our housewares is here. We're expanding housewares. Uh, a lot of holes, but we're expanding housewares because that is what's going on now. It's at that home revolution I talked about earlier. Uh, the the uh, people are making stuff at home. Yeah. David, what's your biggest season for you guys? It's October, September, October, November, December. I mean, I'll just go with those months. September, or October, November, December. So basically yeah. from Halloween to Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, it is. And then, about, you know, there are all these other holidays too on a smaller basis, you know, from Valentine's Day to St. Patrick's Day to Mardi Gras, we move on into some of those too. So this area here is where we, it's just very well, for, and it's probably the largest selection of this type of product anywhere, at least anywhere I'm, as far as from here to Chicago maybe, I don't know, but I don't know of any. Wow. This room here, I'm very proud of. We just created it. I was gonna say, I haven't seen this before. No, 
This very, it was created last uh, November, December. Okay. Well, we need, well, the reason, why did we create it? Why did you? You wanted to ask the question, right? Yeah. Okay, ask the question. What, oh, why oh. did you, I thought you were waiting. Why did you, I'm looking around. Why like did you create this? Uh, because room? you can't buy this on Amazon. You can't buy this at Walmart you, or Wally's or any of those other places. You can't do it. This is where you go to feel good. This is where you come with your granddaughter or somebody else and you make something. You sit down and we have all of these tables. We provide the paints. We provide this. Come on in here a second. These are some of the samples that you can, that you can make. In fact, maybe on Sunday, between Sunday noon and three, you need to come in here and we're going to do, a, my daughter's going to help do a craft oh. and sit down and do crafts and stuff. So, this is so nice. Um, yes, and we're going to even have, if people can come in here, we can rent this thing out for parties, for birthdays, for kids, and, and do a craft and stuff like that. That's what this room has been, because you can't get this here anywhere else. Yeah. Um, that the, the floor is, is uh, we're very proud of the floor and this whole construction thing we did. So. These are in too. I mean, if it's for everybody's yeah. living, they're and, making, and we can do those. Make yep, want to make That's them. That's kind of the latest thing. Is, is that mm -hmm. people have these crafting parties and stuff yep. like that? Is that kind of? That's what we're doing here. Are you are you planning on having more? Because like at some of these places, the ladies get together and they they actually have a liquor license and, and sell drinks. Or yeah, we're gonna them. we're gonna we're gonna sell wine. We're okay. gonna get ready to some of that stuff too. And some of those places, if I, I they're having a hard time making it right now too. I wish they were still be around but they're having because again they're, they're one and you can't get together very well with this COVID stuff mm -hmm. but here we have able to space people apart Absolutely. and I'm so very the diversification and the space oh yeah yeah and this counter over here if you kind of look that's a, that, that's a vintage I call it the lunch counter yeah. and the history behind that is when we first opened the store in 1961 we had a uh, we had a lunch counter uh, it was the old five and dime, you know, from the malts, the hamburgers, the 15 cent hamburgers, the five cent coffee. Sure. Um, we closed that down and, and the, the fixtures that we had went to a store on Dodge Street called B&G Loose Meat Sandwiches. And they closed down a couple of years ago. I was able to acquire my original counter back. Oh, wow. This is the original lunch counter. And so we were able to acquire it back so you can, people can, you know, can sit down, do a craft, or maybe even you know, whatever you want to do here. So all of this stuff was, and it's on wheels too, so we can move it around. Oh, but, that's super cool. but we built this so that we could you know, um, set us apart. Mm -hmm. That's what you keep doing. You have to set your apart. You have, yeah. to, you have to reinvent yourself. Know, the, the Farmhouse Cafe, we'll get up there shortly here. Put that in 95. Okay. So let's go on up that way there too, and we'll stick our head into the farmhouse. How's that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, here. Okay, here. So, yeah, again, in here, and they do stuff, and they, you know, we're creating, we're helping their businesses. Yeah. So, and now we're moving into Halloween, which is still, it's kind of under, you know, it's, it's not the top of the list to get back to whatever it is, but we're getting Christmas turned over into it. This is our, uh, I call it our prop room. Still a little disarray from... Uh, <laughs> from all the little ghosts and goblins. Yeah, so uh, you probably were here way back when. And, and oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have the, the masks and we have, we do sell theatrical makeup year round to all of the theaters and stuff like that here in town. Um, so that's a good... Uh, you do have everything. Good feel. Yeah. yeah, you have everything. And again, if we don't have it, you don't need it. Exactly. That's kind of, you know. I've got it now. You've got it. I've got it. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> All right. All right. Um, we, we'll carry Santa suits, getting into Santa suits. Um, we do that, and then we're going into our actual our party goods department now. We carry a line of Kaspari uh, napkin wear, which is probably the best, the highest quality um, um, napkin wear, dinner wear that you can find anywhere. What makes it so good? It, it, the the uh, images are crisp, they're clean, quality. Okay. I'd rather sell quality than mm -hmm. not quality. I, I could say junk, I guess, but I'd rather sell quality. Yeah. And, and, and yes, it's going to cost a little bit more, but I would rather be in that type of a, uh, in, in everything we do. Mm -hmm. Or framing, okay? Uh, we do quality framing. And, and we could discount it 
like others might, but I want somebody's I want somebody's piece of artwork to hang on the wall where it's a fine piece of furniture. Yeah. It makes a difference. It does, you know, and, and that's why we're he, we're here. We we, we want to do that. So let's go down this way here a bit. Again, more party goods for the season, over the hill products. Uh, you, you name the party, we probably have the theme here. Baby shower, wedding, wedding. Last time you, for a baby shower, for was I yours now? It. No, not mine. Okay, all right, <laughs> boy. I, I was gonna, I was gonna trap you there. No, no, okay. no. I threw all right. a baby shower. All right, greeting cards. Uh, the farmhouse is here. Uh, this uh, this site is currently this site is currently closed except for on Saturday and Sundays because of the COVID stuff. Okay. We've had to adjust our hours. Okay. It used to be nine to nine. Okay, and we were open from nine to nine, six days a week, perhaps. Okay, and for when the customer was ready to shop, we had the hours that they were open. Okay, and as it turned out with this COVID thing, we couldn't do that, so we cut our hours back to ten to six. Okay, That's so good. Now we're open uh, for the sake of the store, the hours because we have to staff it with people. You know, it's like a one shift type thing and it's more economical for us to do that. And customers are grateful that we're here. They're grateful that, you know, they know the hours that we're open. Mm -hmm. So it makes a huge difference in that aspect. That, and they're grateful for it. Yeah. And they'll just make it work. They'll, they'll, make make it, work. they'll make it work for them. Yeah. That's right. So now we go into the farmhouse over here. Hopefully the door is open. Uh, oh, okay. Let's try this one here. Yeah. So this was this was added back in '95, roughly. Okay. Uh, so people could eat and people could shop. The doors open, you know, they wait here and then they go shop. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you, you I take it you have eaten here. I have eaten here. Okay. Have you eaten here too? Mm -hmm. All right. So you kind of know what that's like. My husband and me when we were dating. Wow, he's yeah. a smart man. He was, he's the Omaha native. Yeah. yeah. Very good. So, yeah, and I happen to give. When I get a new customer in the store who never eaten here, they get a free loaf of bread from me. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's why I asked you if you had ever been here before, and you said you were, so you don't get the free loaf of bread. Do you also do you own this, or is it some, some I, I, I sublease it to uh, the farmhouse, Dan Balsaman. I sublease it to him. Okay. So he, does, he has a great show. I, it's a show. You know, our store is a show. And you know, I go around every morning, it's a show set. Yeah. Is the music working? Is the train working? You know, is the show is the show working? So I do that every day. Because it is a show. People come in. The show has got to be just not any more yeah. like Disney World. Yeah, that makes so, sense. Yeah. So. All right. And this is this is the location where we opened in '61. That's incredible. So the, you're sitting in the location of '61, standing in the location of '61 from that wall over there to there and the pet department was there and you know just all types of things and the first two years not everybody knows what that is getting out through the first two years uh, here we go the family actually lived in the store really yep uh, we moved here in January 61 and a store opened May 1 May, May 4th uh, but the family the first two years slept in the store and my mom and I would bring our cots out and sleep in the toy department. What's that like as a kid? Sleeping I, I, in a toy department. It was good. I mean, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, it's kind of unusual now you think, but yet I didn't know any different. Yeah. Slept in a store. Wow. And my mom and I then, at, but the store opened at nine, so I had to get up and get my, you know, and I just, I rode my bike up to school, up the hill, up to St. Joan of Arc, up Haskell Street. And, and yeah, I didn't know any different. I, my friends all had homes and stuff like that, but I, I, I and my family, my, my parents, and where we lived here. That's incredible. That's what, story. That's what you had to do. Back, you had to do that. You know, uh, locally owned people or mom and pop stores or families. Uh, that's what you had had to do. Some people live above their their operation, and you know, if it's a bakery, they live above. But they, we, that's what we had to do. Wow, you had the space. Had the space, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's incredible. Yeah. Hmm. Are you missing anything? I think we've got it. It's duplicated up here. 
So I'll bring people over here, mm -hmm. and I'll say, I want you to look up at those pictures, and I'll, I'll describe those pictures up there, the black and white. I'm the second shortest. Um, and then the family of the colored one is, is 50 years later, and that's what I do, introduce the, you know, in the, in the bread. It's just what, it's my, uh, what I do. The bread's a nice touch. Yeah, yeah. okay, I'll go eat your loaf. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Um, but yeah, and, and then I give them a tour of the store. And I say, uh, and then they, they, they don't maybe know who I am right away. Mm -hmm. And I, I do introduce myself, I feel they're getting nervous, like, who is this guy? <laughs> don't pay, you know, you know, I said, and I've had people ask me for my driver's license. They don't okay. believe me that the owner of the store is here. Yeah. You don't get that? No, that's what I'm saying. You don't. You don't at all. And that's, that's my edge. Yeah. Do you ever bit. take any time off? It's been a while. <laughs> right now, I don't know where you'd go. And uh, <laughs> it's recorded, uh, which is fine. Uh, I, they asked me when I'm going to retire and stuff. So, why would I retire when I can do this? Yeah. And I'm not going to clean my garage out. I, pff, no, not going to do it. <laughs> How many years have you been at the helm? Uh, well, I was 11 when we started. It yeah. actually was my birthday, in case you want to know that. Right? May 4th. Was my, I was 11 on that day. So at the real helm, when, I, when my kids and I spun this off from the other corporate company, it was like in 93, 94. Okay. I still managed the place prior to that. Uh, grew up here at that age. Uh, went to Creighton Prep, went to Creighton University. Uh, one day dad asked me if I wanted to be manager of the store because somebody was leaving. And, and this was, I was a senior in, in college. And I had half a, half a semester left. And those were classes I really didn't want to take, yeah. so I took it on. I, I dropped, and I didn't drop out. I had enough hours, in my opinion, it didn't make any difference. Was a piece of paper going to make any difference to me? Probably not. And that was, and that. And that's when I started being manager of the store, wow. and we had another store called Macon's out in in uh, West Omaha, 120th and Center, and then we in Baker Square we opened up a Mangelson's. And that's when I really learned too that uh, that uh, it was Macon's was a different store because they had a different name for it. Bill wanted to, brother Bill wanted to franchise those out, and it didn't come about. But so we opened up a Mangelson's in Baker Square, and that's where I really learned that it's not like the store down in Westgate. Mm -hmm. And that didn't you couldn't make it like yeah. it wouldn't work. So, so we ended up closing that in '93 when I spun the family spun it off to me and my kids. Um, so this one location was enough to be able to do it and do it like, like we're doing here right now. And back then when we spun it off, I have to tell the story of my best board meeting was with me and my kids. They were 14, 12, and say nine. And, uh, I said, this will be yours someday if you want it to be. Um, what do you guys think? You know, you'll have to work a little bit harder maybe, and you can, you it'll, it'll put, maybe take you to fishing to a, you know, but anyway. Um, and then so around the room, there, you know, they said, yeah, let's do it, Dad, let's do it, Dad, let's do it. And they all three agreed, let's, 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 let's go. Mm -hmm. So they are owners of this store as well. Um, they make decisions as owners. And I, I'm liking to say that what I do is what I do here with customers and I let them do the other stuff now. Wow. And they're keeping an eye on me. <laughs> Things have, things have changed. They, they have. You, you will re, you'll see that as you, you know, things will change. Yeah. And that's okay. I, I don't mind that at all. If people need to, you know, some people won't want to change because, okay, you know, but it's okay with me. Let, because they need to learn it now. If something happens to me, this thing will continue. Mm -hmm. It's not going anywhere. Because they've, they've been in it long enough. They've made mistakes while I was around that they couldn't really mess it up. Yeah. And that's what happens sometimes. Companies... Uh, the, the founder dies, the kids get it who've never had any experience in it, it goes south. And it's all, it's all the kids' fault. So I can respectfully say it was, uh, respectfully say, dad's fault or the old man's fault who handed on when he died. And he didn't know what to do with it. So I really encourage business owners to, if they have them to hand it down to, hand it down, let them make mistakes while you're still around. And so it'll continue. Not after the fact. Yeah. So. And 